So this video is all about the script we've written for our film, how we did it and a few tips and tricks for anybody who's interested. Here it is, this is the full length first draft of the script for the film we're currently calling Encounter, that's a working title. It's 133 pages long at the moment which is a bit on the long side, a two hour film is about 120 pages, 120 minutes, page a minute, works out like that. Um, but this is it, this is the script that Xander and I wrote, it took us about 11 months in total, uh, which is a long time to spend, but the reason we spent that, that amount of time on it was because we genuinely believe that this is probably one of the most important things we'll do to help this film get off the ground, but also for this film overall. Uh, scripts are obviously like blueprints for the project, for everybody involved. If it's not in the script, they're not going to know about it. Um, we like to think of it like the foundations to a building. If you don't have good foundations, the building is not going to last very long and the script's kind of the same. The script is the film's foundations. So how did we get there? Well, we did a hell of a lot of preparation before we even decided to start writing the script itself. Um, we did about eight months of preparation and we read both these books. This one by Sid Field is very, very good. It's a bit heavy, but um, I'd recommend it. But this one, this was like our Bible. Uh, if anybody out there is interested in writing scripts, then I highly recommend this book and as a result we've ended up with a pretty damn good script so um, the links in the description for this one on Amazon or whatever and just read it and do what it says so when we were developing the story order and the scene order we kept writing loads of lists of the scenes like scene one, scene two, scene three and how we saw the story but uh, when we changed our mind about the scene order or the story order we had to rewrite the lists and we did this over and over again eventually we just used postcards so we wrote an individual scene on a postcard and that meant if we changed our mind then we could just you know, throw a postcard away and write a new one and then rearrange the scenes if necessary and just be a bit more flexible and it, it made the whole process much easier for us. Then what we did is we developed like a story wall as it were, ta-da. Um, so we could then with like Velcro or Blue Tack or whatever arrange these on the wall and then we could get a bit more perspective on the whole thing and just it made our writing process just a lot more efficient this is just cardboard this isn't anything special we just uh, went down to the supermarket and you know went around the back and got a load of the empty cardboard boxes apple juice boxes orange juice boxes just taped them together and you know used what we had at hand once we finally pinned down the way we wanted the story in the scene order using the scene wall uh, we then wrote a list, eventually wrote a proper list, a definitive list of all the scenes in order, how we saw them and uh, you know like the scene, a, a brief scene description and that basically allowed us to, when we were writing the script just use this as our blueprint and all we had to do was add a bit of description, add the dialogue and fill it out and we could dot them off one at a time uh, we dotted them off with a red pen and it just gave us a real kind of sense of satisfaction and we could gauge our progress and you know we, we, we eventually went through all the scenes and dotted them off and that, that was our process for writing the script. Now I know that is a very brief overview of what it takes to write a script and all the work that's involved. If there are any of you out there that are interested in seeing more on how to write a script, Xander and I have considered developing a series of tutorials about script writing based on our experience um, and if you would like to see that then like this video or thumb up this video or whatever it is and if we get between about 50 and 100 likes then we'll know that you know you guys are out there and you want that um, and we'd be very happy to do that because it's it really is an interesting process and uh, we'd love to kind of share it with you uh, now we're just going to see uh, a selection of footage that we shot while we were writing the script and I'll talk you through that and you know what we're doing. So this is our little library of script writing books, all of them extremely valuable to our you know, development as writers uh, and I would recommend if any of you are interested in writing pick up any of these books and you'd, you know, you'd be off. Um, the value of them obviously locked within the pages is years and years of experience from these writers about their skill and their craft and uh, they just help guide you through the intricacies of it all. It's not an easy thing to do on your own and to have the guidance is uh, extremely invaluable. The other thing we really tried to make an effort on was reading other scripts for other films. Um, 
It didn't really matter what genre the script was or when the script was written. We just immersed ourselves in script writing in general. And again, it was really interesting to see how different genres had different writing styles and how different writers approach things differently. And we really picked up techniques about how to develop character and how to write visually and how to build suspense. And again, highly recommend reading as many scripts as possible. They're all available online on the Internet Script Database and Scriptorama and uh, just do your best to read them. This is our character folder and in here you can see all the work we did on developing our characters and making them all three-dimensional with backstories and everything like that. Lots of hours of work. Um, and this is Xander's notebook. This is his trusty notebook where we basically jotted down every idea we ever had. You could trace the script from where it is now back to the origins of the story. We didn't filter our ideas, we didn't filter our thinking. It was just a stream of consciousness. We wrote down everything, no matter how stupid it felt. And out of those ideas, you know, came to life this, oh, hello, Optimus Prime, Xander Zoodling. This story came to life and was born on the page right in front of us. And uh, get yourself a notebook and jot down all the ideas. Keep them somewhere safe so you can call on them for later if needed. And uh, there's a few working titles for you. So here are the postcards we talked about earlier, slightly blurred to avoid spoilers. Once we had our basic plot down, we wrote them up on about 10 postcards. And uh, then as we fleshed out the plot and it became more detailed, that grew to about 50 postcards in total. Uh, what are we doing? We're writing uh, our sequences out for the film, we're piecing together for the first time all the major events that happen in the film and kind of um, assigning positions in the film for those events. Cool. Like plot points and not flash points, focus <laughs> points and uh, climaxes to each act and things like that. Um. Um. <laughs> I'm under pressure now. Um. <laughs> There's Xander's notebook where he documented all our brainstorming sessions, which meant when it came to writing the cards, all we had to do was arrange our ideas into some sort of chronological story order. If he hadn't have written up in such detail, then I'm sure this card writing process would have been much harder and probably less successful. <laughs> Back to work, oi! <laughs> Like that way. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Look, do, yeah, that's it. Ah, tight jeans. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you are considering yeah. writing anything, then my advice would be to do it in pairs or with your mates because not only is it more productive, but as you can see, it's a hell of a lot more fun. Pages of notes, pages of notes, lots of notes. I could, uh, some more here. PPC. All ready to go, all scripted out, all this information, lots and lots of work. Even more here. And after loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of work, we're finally ready to start writing. And a nice little thing here. It's a sequence layout. After deciding on an idea, a genre, an audience, creating believable characters and developing their backstory, introducing growth and motivation for those characters, and then adding conflict with the three-act structure, adding even more deep structure with subtext and themes and character through lines, along with an overall self-education on the techniques of writing and script layout, we were ready to write. We already had the entire plot planned, scene for scene, written down which meant that all that was really left to do was translate and type up all our pre-written work into the actual script. So you're joining us at a very important moment. We've done all our pre-write, we've done all our work. It's taken us about six months of on and off work to get this story uh, written down and into shape. Uh, we've done all our cards, we've done all our notes. It really has been quite a lengthy process and we're extremely proud of where we are now. We're just about to start writing the very first page of this script. So it's quite a moment, it's quite exciting to have done all this work and now this is it. We want to try and write this script, 120 pages, 
in about 10 to 20 days. So that's between 6 and 12 pages a day. It's a, it's a tall order. Most first drafts take a lot longer than that, but we don't have the time. So we're going to see if we can crank it out quicker. So this is it. This is the very first type of, uh, of the film. So you ready? You're not going to get much now, but uh, this is how the film starts. So here's the montage sequence of us writing, uh, often into the early hours of the morning, um, but it was incredibly enjoyable. Interestingly enough, we'd listen to music a lot when writing, and a particular type of music for a particular type of scene or emotion you want from a certain scene really kind of gave the script writing process energy and sparked our imagination off in different directions. Sandra and I also developed a kind of shift system where I'd write a scene and then he'd come in and check what I'd written and then he'd write the next scene and then I'd come in and check what he'd written and I'd write the next scene. There it is, page 100, exclusive. So we kind of leapfrogged each other. <laughs> we ended up with sort of like a, a second draft of a script instead of a first draft by the end of it all. It's... um. Quarter to 12 on the 17th of August 2010. It's exactly three months since we started this script and we're on the very last line. So here we go, about to finish it. How exciting. So, um, get rid of that. Here we go. Let's put it up here. These are all the pages. It doesn't look like much, does it? <laughs> Not really, but. It's taken a while and we're pretty damn proud of it. Scroll down again. 131 pages. The final dab. Here we go. Bam! Final frontier. The end. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> script is done. Yeah, 131 pages, and uh, we started on the 17th of May writing, and it's the 17th of August, so that's three months exactly to the day, and it's 5 to 12, 5 to midnight, so it's almost the 18th, but it's not. We got it in, done in time on three months, which is not bad. Yeah, could have been done faster, but still, that's uh, still very, very happy with that. One. We are indeed. <laughs> so there you have it that was our script writing process in a nutshell if you enjoyed this video please share it and post it on your facebook and twitter pages to help spread the word about the film and thanks for watching see you again soon